friends, Crystal here with the Outboard Auto Group and today we'll be taking a look at the new 2024 Nissan Leaf. So as we take a look at the front, right up top is where you'll have the charge ports as well as right down here you'll have the Nissan Glow emblem that now glows in the dark. You can kind of see that's lighting up right now. And of course right underneath here is where you will find the front facing camera that's a part of the 360 camera all around the vehicle, which is super cool. You'll notice that this pattern is also right in the front piece of the Aria 2, so it's cool to be able to see a little bit of a correlation between the two uh, EV models. Of course taking a look right onto the side, you will also see you'll have your LED daytime running lights, which is really nice. And as well, when we take a look at the rims over here, and by taking a look at this pattern, you'll notice that the new updated rims really fits the design of the futuristic look that the EVs are now kind of gearing to head towards too. And of course you have your black painted mirror caps over here. And of course, this one being the SV Plus model, you do still have your chrome handlebars with your keyless entry. And we take a look on this side, this entire body line actually runs across the side of the vehicle and kind of lines up with the angles of where the taillights connect. So it gives you that seamless look, but it's also for aerodynamics as well, which is really cool. So coming on to here, let's show you the back. Of course, I do love this boomerang styled taillights, which also fits into the angles that you find on the rim. So it's really cool people see that connection there. And if you took a look down here, that's where you'll see all your parking sensors that will kind of beep at you just to let you know if you are getting a little bit too close. As for the rear emblem, unfortunately, this one is not back clear, although I really hope that it would have been for a new 2024 model year, but that's all good. As we open a trunk, a lot of people tend to mistake that the leaf will be rather cramped because it is more so a rather compact hatchback. But when you actually take a look inside, come on along, you'll see that the trunk is actually very deep. Typically, the trunks start right where the lip here starts. But as for the leaf, you're, you can actually reach down quite low. So you can see as my arm here goes almost a third away up my forearm, which is pretty cool. Alrighty, so now we're going to get on to the drive. The first thing that I'm noticing is how quiet the cabin is. Although I do have to say that they did a very good job when it comes to muffling or kind of cancelling out some of the wind noises from the outside environment and does cancel out a lot of the sounds you hear from the road. It's still audible because of how quiet the vehicle is, but it, they definitely did a very good job of kind of muffling it. So all the sounds that you would typically hear feels softer, which is really good. Aside from that, when it comes to the actual drive and steering feeling, since what I'm typically used to driving are vehicles with a heavier wheel, and that's ten that tends to be what I prefer, since I feel like it can uh, prevent me from oversteering or possibly, I don't know, lo losing control of the vehicle. But I do have to say, even though it is, it is a lot lighter than what I'm typically used to, so it still feels like um, I'm still in control of the vehicle without being overly light, where it feels like one little twitch and then I might go kind of hurling myself the other way. Nissan also has their own intelligent cruise control and that is specifically called the Pro Pilot Assist. Like what you typically expect, it is able to follow a vehicle in front of you and maintain the speed that you have set as well as the distance that you have set it to. So what this means is essentially when you are doing long-term driving, especially on the highway, although that's what it's intended use for is anyways. So let's say mostly on the highway, it's very easy to kind of get driver fatigue, whether it's from staying alert and focused, as well as maybe having a like cramp. So being able to use the ProPilot Assist, which is the Nissan's intelligent cruise control system, it is able to relieve you from a lot of that, which is really nice. But one thing to notice though, that even though it is able to stop and go within the traffic, so let's say if your vehicle does come to a full stop from following the vehicle in front of you, within three seconds of that stop, it will be able to pick itself back up and follow the vehicle and get on back to the set speed. But let's say if you're stopped over in that, you will have a little prompt on your screen that will ask you whether you like to resume the drive and you will be able to pick that in there whether you would like to take over or if you like the vehicle to continue using the ICC system. The Leaf is a very capable vehicle in terms of picking up because it is an EV. The moment you step on it, you do feel that there's a lot of power and you're able to get where you need to be when you expect to be. Essentially, what I'm trying to say is that the Leaf is still a very capable vehicle, although it does look small and short in stature. 
And as for the infotainment system, you already do have your navigation built in, which is really nice. But of course, you do have your Android Auto as well as Apple CarPlay, which is what most people would choose to go with. Personally, myself, I like that a lot more since I find Nissan aside, but just generally, most built-in navigation maps out there just aren't as clean. Since I find the majority of the built-in maps just aren't as clean as the ones you can get from Google. Overall, I'm very happy with the drive right now. The windows are very big, and one thing I do have to say that I really appreciate, and it's a little bit of an underrated thing, the Leaf still has a rear window wiper. I don't know why, but for some reason, ever since EV started coming out, all these manufacturers decided that, you know what? Rear window wipers are out of fashion. I don't think so. They're practical. Like, we need them. Yeah, those are my two cents about that. So thank you so much for following along as we did a quick little review on the new 2024 Nissan Leaf. So until next time, stay tuned to see what we're going to post about next.